Hey guys, this is Tony Solo here from The Natural Lifestyles, and I just arrived in Chicago, my hometown, where I love so much, but it's so fucking cold. And I want to talk to you guys about stop being so nice and just go for the number. We can go for a coffee or go for a walk, and it's up to you totally. Yeah, I do. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want? Do you remember my name? Anthony. I don't remember yours. You don't? No. Anya. 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 Anya, you you actually are very lovely. I, that's why. I, I want to take you for coffee. Okay. So yeah. Let's slide in here and get the phone. Well, I'm on my I'm on my way to go this way. Okay. And you're on your way to go that way. Yeah. So, how about we meet in the middle spot somewhere at some other time? Uh. Like a coffee. Or do something. you have a card or something? Oh uh, no! Do people do that here in New York? I hate I that. Know. It's so like business like. Sometimes. sometimes. Like it's so business like to me. It's like it's strange in a way. I know. Here, why don't I get your phone number or email? Or well, I can just get your number and text you. No. I'll text you, okay? Okay, it's 415. Do you have to get out of here? Or what's uh, yeah, I have a meeting at 3, so... You do? Yes. So that means that we have to continue this another time? <laughs> perhaps, yeah. Oh, perhaps. Yes, 254, yes. <laughs> yes, you sound like an uh, a English woman. Oh, perhaps, we can do that. Oh, do I? Yeah. <laughs> yes, mm, yes, a little later, we can perhaps do that. <laughs> All right, well, what's the best way to contact you? Number? Uh, yeah. Yeah, my number, sure. Yeah, my number. That thing that I never give to guys on the street. <laughs> you said it like that, you know that? I mean, yeah, usually I don't just give my number out. So tomorrow, are you free? Yeah. Uh, let's, let's go for a walk then. Okay. Uh -huh. Did you tell me your name? Francisca. Uh, my name is Anthony. Yeah. A, a little bit easier than mine. Francisca. Francisca. We can meet up for a drink. That'd be great. Yeah, um, what's the best way to contact you? Uh, phone number. I should give you my phone number though. This whole video is very gonna, it's gonna be kind of short and sweet because going for the number is something that I tend to do only when the girl is in a rush or the girl has to be somewhere, she has to go to work, she has to go meet her friends. She has to go to school. These are the only times that I ever get the number because my rule still stands, get the girl, not the number. So I don't want you guys to ever get confused by that. So that still is my way. But I want you guys to understand that sometimes you can't get the girl. So you're gonna have to go for the number. And the main thing for you guys to do is to start to build the habit of going for the number. As you're going out there and you're doing so many approaches, you're, you're, you're approaching this girl, you're approaching that girl, and you're approaching this girl. You need to build the habit. Build the habit of going for the number under all conditions. That means that if it's going well, go for the number. If it's going bad, go for the number. If you don't really know, go for the number. You must stop being so nice and just go for it. Because you start to build your, it within yourself going for what you want. That is why you're in this community because you want to learn the skill of going for what you want. And under all conditions, you want to learn how to, when a girl is kind of giving you iffy behavior that's not so clear that she likes you, going for the number. You want to learn when a girl's completely giving you all the signals to definitely go for the number. And then you want to learn is that when it's not going so well and the girl doesn't really seem that interested, trying to go for the number just to see if she's just giving you a lot of shit, is she just shy, is she just kind of standoffish right away. And you will never know unless you actually try and get the number from the girl. And once you start to build this habit, you'll start to notice that it becomes very easy for you to start going for numbers. But when you start going for these numbers, don't get into the the mindset of believing that it's the victory. Because I remember when I was first starting out, I had this way of being where I'm like, oh man, this is the victory, I got the number. I got the fucking number. Okay, I ran up to this girl, I said hello to her, I got the number. I ran up to this girl, she was a bit iffy, but you know what, she still gave me the number. Man, she still gave me the number. What up? I had that attitude of, yeah, I man, I still got the number, yeah. Yeah, I did, yeah. And it used to feel like the biggest victory in the world, and then she would flake. And I would get another one that would feel like the biggest victory in the world, and then she would flake. And I started to see that the numbers are just opportunities. That's what they are. 
they're nothing more than just an opportunity for romance between you and the girl in some way whether it be you, you guys fuck each other once you guys have something that's long standing but it's an opportunity it's not a victory within itself now you can give yourself positive reinforcement for going for the number each time but all you're doing is building the skill of just being able to go for what you want so never see the, the number as this thing where you need to go hurrah hooray hooray because that victory will be short-lived if she doesn't get back to you you'll feel sad you'll feel depleted but be happy that you did get the number be happy there's nothing wrong with you being happy that you got the number maybe it was your first number you ever got maybe it was the first girl who showed you interest and then you got a number maybe it was the first girl who gave you some shit and you persisted through it for the first time and you got the number give yourself positive reinforcement for going for it pat on the back saying to yourself through self-talk man i'm glad i went for it being able to just smile afterwards like i can get used to that all these things work so much and also understand that going for the number is the way you're either going to meet the girl again or you're not going to meet the girl so it really comes down to taking that leap of faith if you ever find yourself standing in front of a girl and you're saying hello to her and you you know you're getting to know each other and everything is going good and she goes all right well you know what i have to get out of here and you go maybe she just has to go and she doesn't like me and you just let her off you would have never known what that girl was going to offer you if you didn't follow that up you would have never known what that woman was going through maybe she was just really in a rush and she was waiting for you to uh go for it and you never did so unless you take the leap of faith in that moment and go uh, okay excuse me i know you're gonna go out of here you're gonna get out of here but let's exchange numbers and uh let's go for a coffee and she'll go okay like that but imagine if you never did that imagine if you were just so nice you were just playing it so safe that she never ever got to see what it was like to be with the man that just walked up to me many girls are missing out on guys because guys are not taking opportunities guys they run up to girls and some guys they just go straight for it and they go uh, she he, then she goes he doesn't really want to get to know me then some guys they go all the way through the interaction and they just don't want to fuck it up by just trying to go for it so they just play it safe by not going for it at all go for it whenever you're talking to a girl just go for it in the beginning I would say just go for it all the time because once you go for it all the time you're starting to build that skill of just going for it and then you're okay if the girl say no you're okay if the girl say I have a boyfriend you're okay if the girl say I'm not interested you're okay if the girl flakes on you because you know you can just go do it again it's just all good but I must tell you this is a call to action for you guys when you're talking to women on the street to just go for it really when you're just feeling like maybe just go for it cut right through it one of the best things you can do as a man that's masculine is cut through your own bullshit of the moment don't psych yourself out because if you psych yourself out you would have never known what you could have had with that woman she's missing out on you and you want that man give her the liberty of being with the man who actually cares give her the liberty of being with the man who really wants to get to know her if you do if you don't stop watching my videos if you do then go do it give her the liberty of knowing that man women are always up against the wall of why can't i find a good man and you know this guy walked up to me but he really he really didn't pull the trigger this guy walked up to me but he really didn't do anything you know why can't i just find men who can just be men what they mean is why can't i find men who could be masculine man because just be men doesn't mean anything at all but if you want to learn how to be a man who completely has the masculine embody the masculine essence as a thing that a woman could just gravitate towards when she's in front of you you got to start pulling the trigger you got to start going for what it is that you want you got to start doing it man start doing the thing that means the most to you in that moment what means the most to you is getting to know that girl further after your first meeting that's what means the most to you so start doing it give her the joy the liberty to tell her friends oh i met the guy today and he was so amazing and um i think we're going to go for a coffee date or get the liberty of at least giving the girl the the thought because many girls flake at least giving them the thought of like yeah i would do it and and they just flake at the last moment at least they had a chance to at least try something new so you start to see all this shit in a different way when you're starting to go for it all the time because you see flakes very different 
Be like, all right, this girl flake, I can just go meet another woman. There's billions of women on this earth. And I can go meet more. So have fun with it, man. Have fun with that part where you're like, okay, this is the last moment before we part ways. I know she's in a rush, so I know I have to get this number quickly. All right, I know you have to get out of here and you're in a rush, but tomorrow night, let's go for a coffee. She's like, well, I'm not free. You go, all right, what about the next day? And she goes, um, I don't know right now. You say, okay, well, we'll exchange numbers and then we'll figure something out. And she goes, okay. And you just let it, let it, let it roll on like that. And there's ways that you can do this. As you can see in my um, infields before me talking right now, I do it in whatever way that comes natural to me. The main thing that I keep in mind is I directly let her know that I want to see her again. That's the main thing you want to keep in mind is that you must move the seduction forward. Directly let her know that you want to see her again in some way. You know what? I like talking to you. You seem like a cool girl. Let's go for a coffee tomorrow. And she goes, okay. And you just pull out your phone and start typing it in. At the end, she goes, all right, well, you know what? I got to get out of here. Uh, I have to go this way, but it was nice meeting you. You go, okay, I know you're going to get out of here, but we can't just leave without exchanging numbers. We got to meet up another day and we got to talk. We got to keep this going. And she's like, uh, okay. And then you do it. Or maybe she goes, I don't give my number out to guys on the street. And you say, yeah, I want to give my number out to guys on the street too. I mean, it's a lot of crazy dudes in this world. But you know what? Let's take a chance. And when we take this chance, it's no pressure on you. But let's at least try. And that nonchalant attitude of just letting her know that it'll be cool. It'll be great. It gives her the chance to go, yeah, I think this guy, he's, he's different. But she gets the liberty of having you. Give her that liberty. I keep saying liberty because she wants the freedom from the, from the place she, she's in right now. She's in a place of, oh my God, why can't I meet a man? You know who, who you do you know who she has to settle for? She has to settle for Jim or 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 Darian <laughs> if it's a nigga. She has to settle for the for these guys who are in their social circle. Whoever it may be, they, they gotta settle for these guys that are close to them like this. She's like, I want something out there. What's out there? But you're not giving her that. So give her that liberty. Give her the chance to see what's out there. There's many women there's many women that's walking this earth who would give you a chance if you just went for it. So go for it. Take the leap of faith and see what happens. Okay, now it's crazily cold. It's crazy fucking cold. It's more cold here than it is where I stay at. Woo! All right, this is your boy, Tony Solo, and I'm just saying that I love you guys and subscribe below to Essence Solo, but I gotta get out of here because it's, I'm not gonna lie, it's freezing, but I'm done with the video. I'm mad.